I did it, don't worry. Hey, you guys, it's William Colling from Wee Wee Vlogs. It's Freddie here, too. Hello, the semi final allocation draw has just taken. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We <laughs> the has just taken place in Malma, so I think we should go through the list and react. Are you ready? Let's, Let's do, do this. this. All right, Freddie, let's first review each semi-final, kicking it off with semi-final one. In the first half, we have Ukraine, Cyprus, Poland, Serbia, Lithuania, Croatia, and Ireland. Then in the second half, we have Slovenia, Iceland, Finland, Portugal, Luxembourg, Australia, Azerbaijan, and Moldova. And also voting in the semi-final are Sweden, the United Kingdom, and Germany. So, Freddie, I'm just going to kick this off by talking about those big five slash automatic qualifiers. Mm -hmm. The United Kingdom is here, and I think that's really helpful for both Poland and... And Lithuania. Lithuania. Also Ireland. Oh, yeah, and Cyprus. Yeah. Actually, so... Oh, I wonder if that just completely <laughs> undermines the entire thing, yeah. But big diaspora vote, also kind of Australia. Yeah, lots of Lithuanians live here in the UK. Lots of Polish people live here in the UK. There's a big Cypriot community as well, actually. And um, actually, Ukraine as well. I think they have countrymen and women all over the place now. Oh, yeah, they're getting a lot of support. I would say Ukrainian people are going to other countries over the UK, though. Yeah, although Ukraine does have some neighbors here. Ukraine has Poland. Ukraine has Lithuania. Ukraine has... Those two, oh, Mo <laughs> the Moldova that. as well. That's true, yeah. Yeah, so th that's really useful. Of course, they are split by pot, so every country is going to have somebody. Um, but that's looking good for Ukraine, I think. Yeah, I just wonder if they completely now will just undermine everything, if people are going to be competing for the votes. So actually, maybe it is just going to be more balanced in terms of song quality rather than diaspora voting. Yeah, maybe. Um... So we know that Ireland is sending Bambi Thug, and I said this in my reaction video, but I feel like Bambi Thug would be a great opener to Eurovision because it's so kind of out there and wild, and they have been drawn the first half of the first semifinal. I, mean, I could see that opening. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's not something you're going to bury in the middle. <laughs> I mean, sure. It comes back to life. <laughs> exactly. And then also we've got the list of the, the UMK competitors. I mean, they could, a lot of them could go anywhere, but I imagine... If, if our girl Pascana Sarah Sipala wins, then that'd be a nice thing to close out the show, I reckon. Ooh, closing with the power ballad. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. I tend to think of closing the show as something like really like rock on, crazy, kooky. Oh, like Windows 95 Man or <laughs> New Blue and Mikhail. Like if they sent one of those wackadoodle songs, I could see it closing. Of course, Finland closed the first semifinal last year. That's true. Oh, Slovenia is here and we do know uh, Raven, Veronica. I don't feel like that's a show closer, though. Yeah, I wonder if that's a second position kind of uh, position song. Are you trying to bury Slovenia? <laughs> I'm not trying to bury anything. I'm just saying it fits quite well. I mean, you wouldn't want if Ireland are to open the show, you wouldn't want to follow them with Slovenia. Though that's that's the point. That's fair. Interestingly, Luxembourg is not drawn into the same semi-final as Israel. And a lot of people have said, because the singer from Luxembourg, Tally, is Israeli, um, that she would have benefited from that. However, Germany is voting in this semi-final, so that could help Tally. Absolutely would help them. I'm a bit sad that Luxembourg haven't gone into the second semi-final, because I feel like the build-up to their big return would have been more exciting. And I feel yeah. like it might get lost in, the, in just Eurovision coming back in general. Oh, and Luxembourg doesn't have Belgium either, does it? No. 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 Oh. It doesn't have France either. No, oh, no France. actually, yeah. Luxembourg's friends ain't here. But, um, you know, it's a really strong song, and I'm sure, I, I have no doubt it's going to qualify. You think Tally's going to qualify for sure? I do. I think it's a really, really good song. I think it's a good song. I'm not yet convinced about the energy of the live performance. I think the dancing's good. I think the singer needs to, like, grow in confidence before Malma. And she will. Yeah, I'm absolutely sure that will happen, and I think they're putting the right amount of production behind her to make that happen. You know, you saw that from mm. all the dancers on the stage. They know, they, they have a plan. He's a Luxembourgish expert all of a sudden. <laughs> Any other thoughts know. on semi-final <laughs> one? Um, oh, Australia. Now, we if it is Danny Minogue, if it is Danny Minogue, we don't know if it is, <laughs> put her last. Put her last. That'll keep viewers sticking oh my around. God. Put her first, second, third, fourth. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll be there. <laughs> I'll be screaming. All right. Well, we're going to move on then. Um, 
Amazing. In semi-final two, we have the following countries in the first half. Austria, Malta, Switzerland, Greece, Czechia, Albania, Denmark, Armenia. Then in the second half, we have Israel, Estonia, Georgia, the Netherlands, Norway, Latvia, San Marino, and Belgium. And voting in this um, semi-final, we also have Spain, Italy, and France. All right, Freddie. Well, as we did for semi-final one, let's first talk about those automatic qualifiers. Spain, Italy, France. I think the fact that Italy here is really big for Albania. Mm -hmm. There's a huge Albanian population living in Italy. I, that's really good news for them. And San Marino, obviously, um, just because of its location and connections to Italy, that would be a natural, yeah. natural voting point for them. Also, Austria, border country, people, people cross the border to vote, I think. Um, yeah, they're all very lucky to have Italy voting for them, I think. Yeah, well, the first country I see on this is Austria. We will rave, we will rave, 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 rave. She's going to dance her way straight through this. Because this yeah. is a weak semifinal. I know you're like, we don't have the songs. But historically, I would say the following countries have a checkered qualification record. Austria, Malta, Switzerland, Czechia, Albania, Denmark... Israel doesn't always make it. Estonia, Georgia, Latvia, San Marino, Belgium. Twelve of these countries yeah. are often borderline or out. And so we only have two out of 12, uh, 14 songs on this list already. So I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, so, oh wait, so you're saying um, the songs we do know are Austria, We yes. Will Rave. But we only have, yeah. Oh, and Czechia. Pedestal. Pedestal. And then, yeah, we don't have any other songs confirmed Just yet. Time, yeah. And what, that's really interesting. Basically, this is a weak semifinal. I know it's early to say that, but based on the voting records in the mm -hmm. past, I think that this is wide open. So, like, if our girl from Czechia, Aiko, gets that revamp in, mm. you love Aiko's... Uh, I think it's a brilliant it. song. I don't think their national selection showcased it for all it could be. Mm. Um, and I think that there's only room for growth in there. So I think it's a really good song. Um, it's, I mean, from the two we have, it's the standout one for me <laughs> right now. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Austria's We Will Rape, but I know she can dance. I love so, that. I mean... I, I'm telling you, she is going to kill it. Because if you watch her videos, like her other videos, she can move that body. Mm. Like, you know, last year I was on the jury in Austria and watched her dance to a different song. She can move, like Chanel-level movement. And like, I just hope her song, it needs to be edgy. Like her look needs to be edgy to match the edgy song, but I think she can do it. We just don't know what the others are going to come up with, and that's the problem for it. I mean, all I know about her is that she can dance, and the song is fine. But, you know, any number of these can come out with an amazing banger and completely not rock. Well, like, okay, Latvia, Dawns. I really feel like Dawns is going to win in Latvia. Mm -hmm. Massive star. I know the competition hasn't happened, but it's really nice that they're in the second half. Like, I feel like they're going to go through, because it's a quality song, charismatic performer, and they're in the second half. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think... You heard the Norwegian songs. Out of the Norwegian songs, yeah. But I think we're also... The pattern that we're getting from this year's Eurovision is a lot of these kind of AI-themed songs and, uh, and a lot of very high BPM songs. Looks like that's what San Marino is going with too. I mean, I think it's just going to be... It's going to be a lot of noise and a lot of things are really going to have to cut through in this semi-final. Um, just because especially with the Netherlands coming out with Jus Klein as well. I mean, that's going to be... And big and kind of mad. So, I mean, it'd be interesting to see, for sure. I feel like a lot of kooky songs could go through. Like, because the semifinal, again, has this checkered qualification record, these countries, someone like Yust, some people are really doubting him, and some people are, like, obsessed with the fact he's going to do something totally left field. I feel like this is great for him. Yeah, like, absolutely. This, there's not going to be a ton... I mean, this sounds really shady. I was going to say there's not going to be a ton of serious pop music here, but that would be harsh. Um, but Denmark, I'm sorry, the songs in Denmark this year are weak. They're yeah. really weak. So I would love, to, I would want to be drawn into the D Danish semifinal. Oh, wow. That I is would. shady. That, no, but that's the truth. That selection is just not it. Yeah, the thing is also good for Yusuf. Estonia. Is he's not going to be up against um, Croatia uh, if Baby Lasagna goes through. Oh, that, yeah. That's something Baby he definitely Liz doesn't yeah. want to be in the same final as. That's really true. Um, it's interesting. Albania will, is sending a ballad, Beza. We do know that song. Mm -hmm. It's being revamped. Um, but then you've got Georgia, Nutsa, 
Budzaladze, who is known for singing ballads. All she told us was that her song is going to be bomb and that it's going to have energy. <laughs> so we don't know what that means, what to end up being about. Hopefully she avoids the ballad because, like, I don't like when there are tons of power females and, like, the Albania versus Georgia thing, you know, that could be, they could cancel each other out. Yeah, yeah. And that was my thing when we were talking about um, Bascana Sarasipala. It was like, you know, oh, Albania and Georgia yeah. are going to send a hundred of these kind of songs. So actually, it's quite good. They're not in the same final. What about um, Esti Lau? What, what, what's happening there? You know, it, it doesn't speak to me. I, th but there are a few, there are, oh, I don't remember the names, but they have a few, like, out there memorable acts, actually. Mm -hmm. They do have some kooky acts. Um, I think San Marino, when you brought up AI earlier, I thought you were going to go for San Marino because of the AI competition. Yeah. <laughs> Which sounds like a great idea. Um, well, look, we need to wrap this up. Yes, we so, do. So, final thoughts. Um, for me, I just want to remind people that if you have a good song, if you have a great song, it doesn't matter what semifinal you're in. It doesn't matter where you perform. Armenia, they qualified from second position with Brunette. Mm. They're the only country to do that, qualify from the second position in the past five years, because they had a good song, good concept, good staging. Um, I think for borderline, borderline qualifiers, that's where running order and like draw and stuff really starts to matter. Yeah, and one thing I will say was my favorite part of the entire semi-final draw was a little cameo from someone Oh my Irving. gosh, just so you know, I am not in any way affiliated with the <laughs> EBU, just to clarify in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's great. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm de the semi-final one is definitely the one to watch this year. But this could this yeah. is semi-final two could bring out a lot of surprises, and maybe that maybe that keeps things exciting. We got two. Re hey, Czechia Albania revamps incoming. Let are we definitely getting a revamp from Czechia? Yeah. Oh yeah. She's not gonna go with that. I don't think she, she needs. Gonna, she doesn't she... need to revamp. She just needs to finesse the stage performance. She needs to revamp it. Okay. But I'm looking forward to it. In any case, that's what we <laughs> think. What do you think? Does the semi-final running order allocation draw stuff mean anything to you? Who do you think benefits? Who has been hurt? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. I'm, I'm meant to say like, like, share, subscribe. Say, I'll see you later. <laughs> you can say we are <laughs> Say that again. Um, uh, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe on Facebook. Make sure you... Oh, sorry. Facebook, he old. You are old lady. You're an old lady. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe on our YouTube channel. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.